Hello mga kabalero, this is part 4 of the IEEE paper publication video series. We now reach the stage where our paper got accepted after the peer review. So the next step is to register and pay the necessary fees for the conference and publication. So the next step is to click the registration icon in your EDES homepage under a designated conference. Oh, apologies, I uh, encircled in red or I placed a box in red the uh, pending uh, paper submission. It should be the, the green one. So the next step is to review the list of event options and tell whether which of the item is applicable to your current organizational membership status. So in IEEE, my membership is just a, a student and what I have done on my presentation is I presented my paper virtually, and that is the option that I have selected. So if you are an IEEE member, make sure to set up your memberships accordingly via my profile to apply membership discounts. As a student, you have several discounts that you can enjoy if uh, you are presenting in, to a, an IEEE conference. And also, uh, publication is also um, much lower compared to uh, the fees if you are not a member of IEEE. Next, once you have located the appropriate registration option, click the, the Add to Cart icon and check the bottom page to proceed to the payment process. Select the applicable payment options located at the bottom left-hand corner of the page by clicking the icons associated to credit card, wire transfer, or PayPal. Next is, for credit card payment, you will be asked to provide your credit, your cardholder name, the card number, your card validity, and the three-character security code, or CVC. For wire transfer payment process, you will be asked to indicate the address on the receipt, comments, and a soft copy upload of the LOU or wire documentation. And finally, for PayPal payment process, you will be asked to use the PayPal website and then inform EDAS via the EDAS help button. So please make sure to include the conference description and the name and or the EDES ID or of the attendee or the number of the paper in your payment. Any PayPal ch charges need to be paid by the attendee, for example, the person paying. So maybe you will you are asking what payment option did I use when I presented? So I used the credit card payment option. It's very convenient. So once the payment has been processed and confirmed, you will receive an email for the receipt of the registration. And this is how it looks like in the EDIS page. So the next process of the um, registration and also the submission of the final manuscript to EDIS is uh, these the discussion of the IEEE PDF Express. So what is the IEEE PDF Express and why is this important? So to use the IEEE PDF Express, you have to log in using the provided credentials from the acceptance email. And um, the email will contain the uh, login to IEEE PDF Express. And you have to make sure to update your manuscript by by resolving and following the revision notes provided by the view the, the reviewers if any and IEEE PDF Express is there to um, convert the file that we have and match it to what is recommended by the the IEEE conference so once logged into IEEE PDF Express, click Create New 
title on the landing page. Enter the title of your paper and hit continue. Click and the, click the browse icon and select the file either in Word, PDF, or PPT format. And usually what is recommended is to use PDF uh, or, or MS Word. So click continue once done and agree to the terms and click continue to proceed. So you have to wait for a couple of minutes or seconds for the conversion of the document to complete. It depends if you have a fast in internet connectivity. You will receive, uh, or there is a notification box which will appear showing if the file has been converted successfully. Hit the OK button to proceed with the downloading of the converted PDF document. And click the PDF icon, first icon on the action tab to download the document, or you can also refer to the email for, your, uh, for you to quickly download the file by clicking the download link and you have an, a sample email on, on my screen right now. Now, once registered to the conference, go to the paper dashboard and notice that the link to upload the final manuscript is enabled. You have to click to initiate the upload, read and follow the guidelines in uploading the final manuscript of your paper and make sure to uh, or please ensure that your final manuscript has passed at the IEEE PDF Express checking. So to upload the final manuscript, click the upload button after selecting the desired PDF document of the final manuscript. So here are the final manuscript guidelines. Um, number one, you can upload PDF files formatted as A4 size, 210 by 297 mm. Files larger than one gigabyte needs to be uploaded via Google Drive or Dropbox uh, links. I was not able to use this option uh, to upload using the Google Drive. So my files are is, is less than one gigabyte. And the final manuscript you are uploading should not be longer than six pages. So I stick to six pages. Um, more pages or additional pages will uh, be equivalent to a few more fees. So your paper dashboard will update and displace the completion of the final, final manuscript submission once you have successfully submitted the final manuscript on the EDES dashboard. Now, a copyright form is required for a final manuscript and presentation. Click the copyright icon found in various location in EDAS. You will also be asked to review and download the copyright form. Edit the form to indicate your name as proof of your agreement with the IEEE terms and conditions. Then click submit button to complete the action. Now, upload a completed copyright form via EDES through the Upload Copyright section and click the Record Copyright button once all required actions has been completed. And the dashboard will again update to include a completed action on the copyright form. So the final requirement to submit a paper to IEEE conference is by uploading the presentation. Another email will be received, which includes the final presentation format and template and the background Zoom format during the event. So make sure you are checking your email all the time. Now, you have to download the presentation template in PPT and the Zoom background as mentioned in the previous slide. So the usual allowed presentation time for IEEE conferences is 10 minutes for the discussion proper, and you have five minutes for question and answer. Variation on the presentation timeframe rules may apply to other conferences. So the objective of your presentation is to get people interested in your work, not to explain it to them fully. Remember that your slides do not have to tell the story or remember that your slides uh, must tell the story on their own. Slides are meant to illustrate your work, 
and not to explain it entirely. Use graphics where possible. Limit the text to phrases and bullet points rather than full sentences. Once you have drafted your slide, record yourself practicing your talk with the slide so that you can identify areas for improvement and make sure to stay within the time limit and leave time for questions from the audience or from the evaluators. Now, as soon as your presentation is good to go, upload a PPT to EDES. Click the cloud icon under presentation, read through the, and follow the guidelines to avoid receiving errors, and click the choose file button to select your presentation on your local folder and hit the upload PDF and Microsoft PPT to complete the action. Now your EDIS dashboard will again update as soon as you have successfully uploaded your presentation. So the conference committee is responsible for sending accepted conference papers to IEEE for publication in IEEE Explore Digital Library. Once IEEE receives the final conference proceedings, they will appear in IEEE Explore in about six weeks. So to view your paper, you can search IEEE Explore by your paper title or browse to locate a conference. That's just like what I've uh, shown on my very first video for this series. If your paper is missing from the IEEE Explore after six weeks, contact the conference committee. And once paper is published in IEEE Explore, it is considered part of the scientific record and cannot be changed. If you find an error, IEEE will review to determine if it can be addressed by updating the paper's bibliographic metadata. And this is the end of my presentation for the steps and the tips and tricks of submitting a paper registration to a conference proceeding. Now, my next agenda for the, the last part of my presentation is the use of the guidelines in order that we, we can leverage the important steps and the formatting of an, an IEEE template for our submission for a journal and also for a conference. Now, I am now ending this, this video. Thank you so much for listening and watch out for my next video. Thank you.